protesting for the London living wage because we think that we should be getting the same pay as the council workers are. The cleaners in my school earn more money than me and they're forcing people back to work but yet they don't want to pay the living wage. I'm better off sitting at home claiming income support than I am going out to work. I have to walk to work because I can't afford my travel to work. There are roughly 300 workers on the Caterling School Meals contract which was awarded by Camden Council in 2011. In contrast to the neighbouring borough of Islington, Camden did not stipulate that it should be a London living wage contract. We're on £6.60 an hour, which is way below the London living wage, but yet our neighbouring boroughs in Islington are on £9.15 an hour. They're on the London living wage. And also we've got workers from our company that work, have different contracts that are on the London living wage, so why shouldn't we be on the London living wage? And it's the fact that inflation and everything is rising, we can't even afford to feed ourselves. People are going home and going hungry, and that's not very nice when we're the ones that are feeding all of Camden Council's like children in all the schools. Why should our kids not get a decent dinner? Most of the kids at the school, free school meals, they get £2.30 a day. I have less than that to feed me and my child at the end of the pay. The cost of living around here is really expensive. I'll tell you, they gave us an increase in our wages, which is this, the price of an onion. That's how much our increase on our wages calculates to be an onion a week. The situation on the contract really does make a mockery, in our view, of the council's commitment to its London living wage policy, which was adopted in 2012, but not made retrospective. This current contract with Caterlink runs until 2016. And at the moment, Caterlink, which is part of a much bigger company, uh, Westbury Street Holdings, uh, is adamantly refusing to move towards London living wage this year before the expiry of, of the current contract. I have to get working tax credit, I get housing benefit, which of course, if they paid me the £9.15 that's going up to in April, then they would have to support me less. But they don't seem to care, they're not bothered. We want to ask the councillors inside if they you know, agree with us having the London living wage, and if so, what are they going to do to, to make sure it happens? Caterlink, as part of a much bigger company, uh, is busy acquiring firms like Circe's. Circe's actually runs a champagne bar at Paddington Station and across the road at St Pancras. It has the contract for the Barbican. Caterlink's parent firm, Westbury Street Holdings, paid in excess of £20 million to acquire Circe's last summer so it would easily cover London living wage for the full workforce on the Camden contract for quite some years to come. Sold us to the lowest bidder. Camden sold us to the lowest bidder. Meanwhile, roughly 50 care workers who are currently working in the remaining residential care facilities run by the council at St. Margaret's and Branch Hill are due to be transferred in late June to a company called Shaw Healthcare. Shaw already operates the Maitland Park Care Home as part of a long-term private finance initiative style deal with the council, a deal that's due to run until 2040-41. Under this contract, there is no London living wage provision. My colleagues and I, we've got used to a certain standard of living with our current wages. When we move to this new provider, we shall be suffering a drastic pay decrease. I've heard the figure of 40% bandied about. 40% pay cut. salary in our new provider is something like £7.53, which is above the minimum wage, but very well below the London living wage. Under pressure from Unison two years ago, when the first uh, group of transfers took place with the opening of Maitland Park, the uh, council did try and negotiate an increase to living wage. However, Shaw turned around and said, fine, if Camden is prepared to pay another 400,000 plus a year. Uh, Camden said, we're not. Shaw has dug its heels in, and so far there's been no movement whatsoever. My colleagues and I, we've worked for Camden for many years, over 20 years service, a lot of them. The people affected are largely women, 
uh, largely black people and largely middle-aged people. We work for dementia um, care and the work is very hard and stressful and at times we go through a lot but we are, it's like we are not recognized, we are not appreciated. We have to pay council tax, television license, we have to pay our mortgage and rent and they need good service for the elderly people and uh, if they don't pay us good wage, how are we going to perform and perform well to take care of these elderly people? Cleaners who recently transferred from ISS to the construction giant Amy have been paid London living wage of 9.15 an hour since the transfer. We're now being told, however, that the amount of money allocated to Amy is not sufficient to pay the full workforce living wage, and there's a gap of about 30%. Uh, meanwhile, of course, the council is implementing huge cuts, totaling some £73 million over the period of three financial years, and yet we have evidence of significant underspends including in the Children's Schools and Families Directorate, of nearly four million pounds over the preceding four years. We know there are still uh, many consultants. Uh, we don't know precisely how many, but undoubtedly the bill runs into millions of pounds. We're not going to give up. We're going to be here for, until we get the money. Whether it's the companies, whether it's the council, they're all responsible for our wages. They can't keep passing the buck from one to the other. They don't care much about us. They care about profit. But what about the care for the, the proper care for the elderly people? For Catonic workers, we have had these lobbies before. We have asked the council to pay you the London living wage, and they are saying that you're going to have to wait until next year. So at our last meeting of Catonic members, they voted to hold an indicative ballot to strike action. Yay! We're all for it. We had a meeting not long ago. Um, and all of the workers that attended would say that they're, they're fully for it and that if it comes to it, we will strike. That is definitely on the cards, um, so hopefully after tonight we'll see. <laughs>